Right then, so Paul, wow, what a game. You sort of dug in deep right at the very end, but you got your, I think, just desserts and just rewards. Yeah, you know, it was a close game. I was playing a Premier League team, it was always going to be a tough game, innit? But you know what? What an account we made of ourselves. Definitely the better team for the first 70 minutes of that game, definitely. They came on strong at the end, pumping it on us, a lot of long balls, a lot of crosses to deal with. They nicked one, didn't they, with about 10 to go. And then we held out, they, they put a bit of pressure on us, to be fair to him. But look, he went to penalties and pff, our lads were class and certainly our keeper were different class at the penalties. Yeah. Uh, obviously, halfway through the second half, you had a lot of injuries with your back line. You had yeah. right back go off and centre back go off. Did, did you feel that might shape the game a little bit? Well, it was upsetting, wasn't it? We wouldn't want to do that, would you? They defended so well, didn't give them a sniff. But then you've got to take off your right back and your left side centre back. So we had to rejig and, you know, move it around a bit. But look, it was OK. In the end, we got away with it. Look, the formation worked today. We played a diamond midfield and left two up front. We got Marcelo in from the start. We gambled on him today and he scored a worldie. So, look, we couldn't have painted that picture any better than it happened today. It must have been a dream start when Marcelo, after three minutes, sort of popped in the top corner. and. Mm -hmm. You must have thought it might have been like an early setback for you and maybe like they're going to put a lot of pressure on, but you well, kept I thought, going. Yeah, I thought we might have to dig in and maybe we'll nick a goal on the break or something, but it didn't work out that. We're on top, on top, the whole half, strong, some good progressive play through midfield, creating chances. And yeah, Marcelo got his goal. That's what the guy's capable of. It's a good job he did it as well. Yeah. Obviously, that's the final now for you guys, which is for yeah. fantastic for your first season as a football club back after a few yeah. number of years being out. Um, I'm, I suppose you're really looking forward to that now and that's main focus maybe, is it? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I was trying to say to them there, look, massive game on Tuesday, up a mill away. Look, we're still in a shout to get fourth in this league and be promoted, but it'll be tough, but we're still in the heart. If we play if we play how we did today, we'll win every game to now the end of this season. But look, realistically, a good four, fifth finish and a cup final is tremendous for us. Look, we'll play against another Premier League team in a final. I don't know, probably on lights on, you know, in, in a big cup final. And we'll all very much look forward to that and I, I can't wait for it. OK, um, I think I know what the answer's going to be to this, but who's your man of the match? <laughs> you have to give it... You know what? In the general play of the game, it was CJ. It was, it, it was Cyril Davis. He, he was class, broke up everything. Absolute masterclass of playing at the bottom of a diamond in midfield. But look, Jordan Hadlow saved four out of four penalties, so let's give it to Jordan. It's class. All right, well, well thank you very much. We'll see you on Tuesday at Upper Mill. Yep, thank, thank you. you.